Hello, welcome to 2DFS, which is a new podcast. The 2DFS stands for Two Drunk Film Students, but I, I don't like that name particularly, so I went with 2DFS. Uh, joining me today is uh, my companion for <laughs> for the duration of however long we do this podcast, uh, Mr. Jack Kite. Uh, good evening. I am uh, I am Jack Kite. You are Jack Kite. And uh, sorry, today, well, this is our first ever show. So um, you know, bear with us. You know, give us a chance. You no, know, we are the. Bear we are very much. Uh, you are very much listening to us break our podcast virginity. So you know, just uh, break. Be gen- Be gentle. You know. I thought they would be taking our virginity. It's not breaking, is it? Wow. They're taking our virginity. Wow. I know. We all have different experience two days. Apparently, not always. <laughs> so you were broken. <laughs> Um, okay, um, sorry. <laughs> we should probably get on with the podcast. Basically, the premise of the podcast is we came up with an idea where we would watch a film <laughs> where we talk. Uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Okay, well, basically, for the weekly segment, I was... Uh, I mean, I know you can't actually see me now, but um, a lot of women will say I'm something of a... something of a debonair, something of a hunk... Mm. They usually go Jack Kite, more like Jack Bloody Casanova. But Josh is uh <laughs> he he looks awful. He's got like he's skinny, he's got these dorky glasses on, doesn't even have a chin really. <laughs> um But like where's this stupid green hoodie from Top Man because he thinks it's from Top Man I'll probably get away without being fashionable. He just looks ridiculous. Uh, you slipped up there, you said oh <laughs> And so basically what I figured is I'd find a way to get him and I uh, some action, some <laughs> pussé, if you will. And basically what I figured we'd do is, as this is a this campus... It's more for Jack, by the way. What? No, no, no. I'm doing you a favour. Yeah, I've, no tr- I've got no trouble. Of course. I mean, you're the one who went on stage and talked about getting all sex from transgenders. I mean... <laughs> did I? Yeah, you were the I one. I don't remember doing You this. were the one who did the open mic stand-up and did, oh, the, yeah. oh, did that joke did about... I? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Should I have been there to see this, then? What? No, you were the one. <laughs> oh, you were the course, one, I remember. Oh, yes, you're, yeah. kind of, you're kind of one of those people that sort of do things and then <laughs> just... And then sort of project it onto other people to make yourselves mm. feel better. Project, project it? Yeah, kind of just project it out. Just you mm. you do something and then you say someone else did it to sort of make oh, yourself feel... Oh, I did feel. say this, but yeah. I, didn't, I don't remember doing that. But that's quite an interesting thing if okay. I did. Um, anyway, listen, this is what we do. As it's campus co- campus comedy we're watching, I figured what we should do, Tule. Mm. We should go to a... We go Tule, to a, Tule. Tule. Yeah. Tule. Tule. Oh, we're Tule. Um, we, we go to a university... And we uh, and we start up our own fraternity. Right now, I'm sure you're aware that all the university fraternity films they have their own silly pranks, their own sort of goofs. Yes. So what we should do is, uh, you know, the the dean or the vice chancellor in American movies. Yes. Yeah, it would be the vice chancellor here or in this university specifically. I say we should strangle his pets. So it was a hilarious How, college goof. And what effect would this have? Well, basically, <laughs> like the dean would come out and we'd strangle his dog. And then we'd go, oh, let's get out of here, boys. And you'd kind of she be like... Whiz. Yeah, you'd kind of be like the fat down. nerdy one. who goes, oh, if my mum finds out, she'll kill me. And then he'll fuck. see that his, his like, cat's been strangled. And it, I don't know what hilarious name we'll give to it. It will just go, oh, those fraternity boys, I'm going to... Kick oh, them off campus. Bloody, bloody kids. <laughs> yeah, just, you were no, in the West Country. <laughs> love it, totally. <laughs> Those bloody kids, they've been at my pineapples. <laughs> pineapples, well, pumpkins. This is a campus college, <laughs> so it should this be a campus comedy, so it'd be more yeah. like, let me tell you, Tule, Tule Kite House, I will kick you so far out of this university, you won't know what ha- happened. And then what the thing is, where the lane gets in is uh, we will throw house pies right. and we will be dancing around. And I don't know. Wearing, seen, wearing the animals. <laughs> wearing well, we'll probably we'll what, as a hilarious campus thing. We'll don one of the like the oh, vice chancellor's like, pets is like clothing. An Indian, oh, an Indian hat. Yeah, knock the mic a little bit there. Sorry. Um, Careful. And then yeah, we'll be dancing around, just going ooh, and then chicks will go. They're the guys who strangled the vice chancellor's dog or oh, cat. Of course. And then they'll go, holy, holy cow! They have so much disregard for authority. <laughs> Yes. That, yeah. Like they'll go holy sweet. They literally derobe. It goes like, and, and they go, well, usually I would have uh, banged that Jack Kite guy anyway, but I mean, 
I mean, he's. I heard Tulier has got some affiliation with him. So his friend, he has the, a friend there as well. Yeah, if I goes, can't get with Jack, like, I'll get with Josh. Exactly. That's because obviously <laughs> Jack's can be banging like it's nobody's business. But like Tulier, it's like obviously I, no one cares about Tulier. Mm. But like you know, I'll feel sorry for him because Jack's getting so much action and he's friends yes, with Jack. And of course, yeah. I mean, if you see pictures of us, which might go up on our website or iTunes mm. or whatever... Jack's I mean, face, of course, will be blacked out because he's so handsome. I mean, it's... Uh. it's <laughs> but Tulia's the one with, you know, the skinny arms and the glasses and the, I don't know, the weird Essex fringe thing going on. I don't know. I'm, mm. I'm sort of kind of uh, shorter, you know, dark hair, very handsome, you know. So, uh, yeah, some In a strange way, he is complimenting me, but you won't know this yet. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just giving, I'm giving them the facts. Yeah. All we're doing is strangling one dog or cat. I thought you said and all the, a You said all pets. <laughs> wow, I guess. And if he has, just imagine if he has, like, two dogs, five cats. To be fair, let's fish. be real. How are you going to strangle a fish? Just put it out of the water and then put your arms around its little... Fish Can neck. you even strangle a fish? They don't have Co- lungs. Cover its They've gills. Got gills. C- cover its gills. I'm not sure if it works. Like or just that. bash its head a bit. I don't know, Tule- Tulier. It's that seems worth- to be a theme with you, transgender stuff. Well, um, it's an interesting subject. Okay, but I should probably actually mention it. I don't want to. It wasn't anything particularly disparaging. Right. But I got oral sex from a girl who used to be a fella. And I'm sure we can both say we have nothing against that at all. No. No, not at all. It's good. We're in the 21st century. But the joke was that um, people who've also had that experience seem to, like, portray it as some kind of horror story. But the thing is, it's like she had to have all sex on my small little peanut of a penis. And so I tell it from her perspective, and it isn't pretty. Oh, yeah. that's, that's your routine, is it? Well, that was the beginning of my routine. The, I think the how, rest, how does that usually go down? Does that it, that was actually is it received well? It was it was mixed reviews. Like the first gig, it went down quite well. The second gig was a nightmare. The third gig, quite well. Uh, the um, yeah, but it's more of a self depreciating joke rather than that against Self, the LBG it? community. Is it which, called self deprecation? Self deprecation, of course. Yeah. Well, okay. Mm. Although, well, have you seen uh, some transgenders? Because they look good. Uh, I'm afraid, afraid I, I haven't. If you do as an extensive Googling as much as I did, they look <laughs> fine. Oh so, some of them put a lot of w- women to shame. Well, obviously they're women. Of course, they're generally right. alignment. But, yes. you know, biologically assigned women, they put a lot of them to shame, son. To shame. Right. Do they? <sighs> <sighs> this has just got weird now. <laughs> Wait, what? What's weird about that? No, it's more the fact that you're perving over it. Well, I just could st- have you seen them? Have no, you- I haven't. It's oh, in fact, what if we just pause the podcast for a second <laughs> no, and no. just like Google it? No, we're watching this live with the listener. <laughs> okay. We're not doing that, I'm afraid. Okay, and we're back after the edit. It was obviously you know we just joined the footage <laughs> together, not, and there was uh, no edit there. There was an edit, and let me tell you, we there did some no googling. Editing. And I I'll can think tell you, you as and the I, editor, you and I, Josh, I can tell you as the editor, there was no editing. There was an edit point. just there because it went silent, Jack and then is we a went back liar. in. <laughs> then we went back in, and let me just tell you, I think we both liked what mm, we saw. I think by all means, get in touch, especially with Josh uh, Toulier, who is on uh, Facebook, and that is uh, J O S. Spell that with uh, J A C K. <laughs> no, well, that's my one. I'll, no, well, I'll do it. So it's uh, Josh Toulier. It's uh, J O. You don't know how to spell Josh. Oh my! You, you, you distracted me, and that's and Toulier is spelled. Was it T U L E? No, I E. No. It, it, I think it's that, isn't it? It's, it's like got a two Y. It's got a Y in there. Is it? No, mm. I'm pretty sure it is just T. It's got, um, it's got a, an M. Mm. Tuliem. Tuliem. See, I remember it being spelled two T U L. It's two. The, that's, the number, that's the number two. No, the number two. Yeah. Tulie. Yeah. Two, and then a Lee is an L E E, and then A is an A Y. Mm. That's how you spell it. But, I mean, if you just use both our spellings, the one I gave you, my one being T U L I E. Yeah, of course, that would be wrong. I-E. It's T. But just try them both, you know, because, I mean, he could be wrong. You know, he may not know how to spell his own name because he's, let's face it, not all the blood is running to his brain right now. How can you be so comfortable lying? 
It's incredible. I would like to apologise for Toulier's behaviour and clear intolerance to the LBG community. (laughs) And by all means, if you're a member of that community... Oh dear, what happened there? Oh, I think we had a we had a power failure. Um, Again, he is trying to from north. The power on Jack's mic seems to have failed. I think. Uh, oh, it's back on. Again. He- oh, oh, it's gone again. Oh, is he going to do it properly this time? I found it. Oh, yes, good. Right. Well, that's that section done. No. Oh dear. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> uh, hey. Again, he's trying to. If you've uh, listened this far, thank you for listening to the whole of the podcast. Hmm. You are indeed very special. Um, uh, it's good night from me, and it's good night from Jack. Good night, it is. Um, I don't think that's how we're going to sign off anymore. <laughs> we'll do something different next week. Uh, well, basically, uh, that was Josh Toulier, and I'm Jack Kite. So, good night and goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>